Welcome to another video. Today, it is a lovely, nice evening here in Birmingham. However, I hope you all are doing amazing. Today in this video, we're going to learn about making this radar chart. Now, radar chart is also known as spider chart. And most of the times when we use multivariant analysis and we have multiple variables, to analyze any data set, then we need to use radar chart. For an example, you can think about uh, a skill set of any person or any designer so that you put the skills in a graph and to identify the overall uh, skills of that person, you can use radar chart. However, it doesn't have to be hexagon all the time. It has to be a polygon. And the idea here is your variables will be placed on each spike so it can be um, a pentagon uh, a octagon a hexagon a hectagon it also can be a circle just the way you are viewing it it can also be like this and i have created several variations to show you however let's jump into this design where we are going to make this one and if you look closely, this has a hexagon and also a circle. And you can uh, take the circle as a threshold value of this skill set. Now let's jump into the design. Cool. So first we're going to make a frame and we'll give it a darker color. Nice. Now we need to draw the hexagon. To do that, I have found a plugin named shaper so you just go to your plugin and search shaper it will appear then run it now the good thing about this plugin is they have some built-in shapes and inside basic we have this hexagon now we need to click on this so it is actually outside of the frame so i'm gonna rename it as rather example now i'm gonna cut it from here and then again paste inside right nice so now what we need to do we need to remove the fill and give it a stroke of a light darker color and then we need to draw these connectors right from each endpoint so to do that what I'm going to do, I, I'm, go I'm going to double click on this shape so that we get the pen tool. Now, if we draw any line here, it will be a part of this polygon, which is already there. So we don't need to group or do anything. It will already be a part of this polygon. All right. Nice. So we have it. Very nice. Now let's make the circle which is a threshold point all right so to do that we need to create a circle so i'm gonna place it just like here and remove the fill give it a stroke and i want it to be a neon blue kind of color yes that's nice and also at this point i want to be two pixels it to be two pixel and then I'll apply layer blur and over here I want to make the layer blur to be 20 and then I'm going to select again this and then duplicate it and from the duplicated version I'll remove the layer blur and make the circle to one stroke to one pixel cool so the reason we did in that way to have the glowness uh, around the circle right nice so we actually can group this together now and then rename it as a three shoulder three shoulder value or point just three shoulder maybe yeah and then we are going to draw this polygon. So the way we are going to do it by using the pen tool. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna just draw some line here. 
all right i'm gonna remove the color i did it previously that's why it um picked the color automatically however i'm going to draw the shape here now just like this 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 and nice we have the shape now what i'm gonna do i'm going to apply a stroke here and i'm going to take the blue color oh, sorry green color right and then i'm going to use maybe two pixels like that as the stroke and i'll also apply some border radius here to make the curve so maybe 15 um yep 15 is too much i believe so 12 yeah 12 is nice right cool so now at this point what i'm gonna do i'm gonna apply the layer blur effect here just like before to create the glow effect so i'm gonna apply 20 close it then duplicate it remove the layer blur Boom, we have it. Now also, I'm going to apply a fill here with the same color of the stroke and reduce the opacity to maybe 8%. Yes, no, uh, maybe 12%. Yeah, to make that fill. Nice, we almost have our radar chart. Now what we need to do, we just need to place this icon. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to pick this icon from here. I'm not going to search any icon right now. All right, cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use an auto layout. And then I'm going to use uh, maybe 12 in each side. And then um, border radius, a big border radius and a fill color now what we need to do to make this cutout section what we can do actually we can give it a fill give it give our hexagon uh, a fill and then we can make it something like this right copy the fill and then apply the same fill here same color nice and then use the same stroke that the hexagon has so we are going to do the same just copy the color code and now place it we are going to place it at the center so it will create this cutout section cool so we almost there now we just need to place the variables here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a text maybe HTML right and then make it 12 is 12 already all right so I'm gonna apply auto layout and then maybe I want uh, four at the top and eight at the side all right then apply a fill so the fill you know when you have style guideline use color from from your style guideline don't use the color I'm using the way I'm using all right however so I'm gonna apply a border radius here 10 because the height is 20 right nice we have it cool all right so I'm just gonna duplicate it several times to make it look like a radar chart however you've got the idea how to make it and how to make it look good all right here we have it here we have our radar chart and yep this is the way you can create cool radar charts and also you can go with different backgrounds like all hexagon or all circle you know you can do so many things all right here we are with a radar chart thanks for watching the video